Hello everyone, this is Grimpercore, and today Koala released a new update to the Koala Sampler app, and that is the EQ. And what the EQ lets you do is, as you might imagine, EQ your samples. So that means we have a sample here. And you can see I have, uh, I can enable the EQ. And it's a free band EQ. And it lets you change the you know, change the sample as you see fit, which is kind of nice because it allows you to, sometimes when you chop something, you have some unnecessary noise, like uh, you have a bass where it has a bit of a rattle from the high end or it's captured some of a hi-hat. You could just immediately do this. No more problem with your, uh, with the bass, you know, protruding into the mids and highs. So this is really cool. This is really good. I've already found it useful. Uh, I've already mixed one of my tracks with it and it sounds a lot better as a result. Now it's something I could do in AUM or, you know, take the stems and do it externally, but it's just nice to be able to do it inside the one app. But there is an extra feature. Uh, so what it is, is you can actually perform EQ back into the app. And I had, I was basically working with this sample, this exact sample today, and I wanted to, it, it's a nice sample, but it just didn't do much over time for me. And it's a sample that I've kind of chopped and changed reverse parts of. And it sounds better, but it just doesn't, it still lacks a little bit of movement. So what I did was I had this idea, uh, setting it up on shop mode, and I'm going to make sure I'm recording, yep, resample from app. And I am going to still take out these lows because ultimately that's what I want. Maybe I can leave them in actually. Let's, let's give it a try with leaving them in. So I'm going to record. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play and I'm going to There we go. Let's see how that is. So uh, we'll make sure we turn off the EQ on this one. So this is our original. Nice. And this is our new one with the moving EQ. Nice. And it just has a little bit more movement in it, especially towards that kind of middle section, like leading up and towards the middle. So even there, it's, it's, it's very st Static, whereas here you can feel it already moving. And yeah, it's just a, uh, it's just something I found, and um, it, it works really well. Give it a try, see what you think. I'm going to be using this all the time from now on. This is like such a quick and easy way to like get some extra movement and make something that is is nice. It's good but it was just a little bit static and gives it a little bit of movement. And you could make multiples of these, so you could just go ahead and do it again. There you go, and we got another one now. So now when we play this one back, I like that actually. Nice, and you get that kind of high resonance sweeping at the end. Where is it? There. Yeah, nice. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, I'm getting distracted. So give it a try, see what you think. I think this is really cool. If you can think of any other ways to use the EQ like this, let me know, because I would love to know what people are doing with it, because I feel that this is a big game changer for the app. Uh, this is giving me less reason to move away from the app and use other things like AUM. So yeah, anyway, have a good day and uh, have some fun. Bye.